watching sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow home. Golden, 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 golden things. Hi, so I thought I would vlog today. I am sitting here in the sun. It's a really beautiful sunny day here today, but it's actually quite cold. I think it's about 10 or 11 degrees Celsius outside. So we're definitely enjoying staying inside in the warm, but I love having the sun streaming through the windows. But yeah, I thought I would vlog today. I'm just having my coffee. Uh, like I mentioned in my last video, it's school break here in New Zealand. So the boys have two weeks off school and we're just at the end of the first week. So another week to go. It's been really good. Uh, we've tried to go out and do something each day. The boys have had uh, play dates. Uh, Tobias went to his friend's house and at the same time Lachlan's best friend came here. So that was really good. They both got to have a play date but also got to have some time apart. We've been to the movies. We went and saw the new Minion movie. Uh, we've taken them out for lunch. Yeah, just tried to get out and about but today we're definitely just staying at home and the boys are downstairs playing so i'm hoping <laughs> that uh they'll play nicely for a little bit while i talk to you um because they have also been bickering a lot those holidays but i think that's just what brothers do right so yeah i'm drinking a coffee first week of the holidays another week to go we're having some family come and stay next week so that will be good and we'll be going out and doing things with them mike has some time off work too so yeah, that's how our holidays are going. And I also had my birthday at the beginning of this week. So that was fun. And like you saw in the beginning of the video, we had some donuts. Mike uh, took the boys out and they chose some donuts. So I didn't have to make my own cake or anything like that. And I thought I would just quickly show you what I got for my birthday. Um, yeah, so I'll start off with what you saw in the beginning clip, which was this little ghost. So. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I love these little ghosts. I will leave the artist's name on the bottom of the screen here because I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I really love his ceramic ghosts. He actually makes a lot of different ceramic things, but the ghosts are my favorite. They come in all different shapes and sizes, but this is the classic shape. So the boys gave me this one. I really love them. <laughs> they chose this one. And these are the other two I have, and they just live on top of my fridge, on top of that cupboard. So my three ghosts so far, and as a minimalist, I'm not really into collecting a lot of things, but I do just love these ghosts. I'm not sure what it is about them, but I love them. So it's really handy too for when Mike's trying to find something for my birthday, or uh, if the boys are choosing something, it's nice to have something that they know I like. <laughs> so it's quite hard to buy presents for a minimalist. Uh, so yeah, I love these little ghosts and I'm really happy to add this one to the little ghost family I have started. Uh, and then I got a couple of other things. So I went to a yarn show. It was the first time I've ever been to, is it a yarn show? Yeah, I guess it's a yarn show where different sellers are selling uh, their wool, all different kinds of wool. And yeah, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And one of the things I had wanted for my birthday actually was a set of circular knitting needles. So I prefer to knit. If you're not interested in knitting, the next couple of minutes are going to not interest you at all. <laughs> so feel free to skip ahead. But uh, my sister let me these uh, Knit Pro Zing needles to knit on. And I really love them. I love the weight of them. I love that you can change the size of the cord. So I knew for my birthday that I wanted a set of these and Mike said when I went to the yarn show because it was a little bit before my birthday if I saw a set there to buy it uh, as my birthday gift and my mum had also given me some money so I used that to buy a whole set of circular knitting needles and I'm so excited to have them so the needles just look like this and then you get a whole bunch of the cord so you can change them out and once you've bought the set uh, it's not that expensive to buy more cords if you need them longer or anything like that so really excited to have those and then I also bought myself some hand dyed yarn so this is the first time I've ever bought hand dyed yarn and I really love it 
Unfortunately, it's just not in my budget to knit everything that I knit out of this, but wow, it's really beautiful. I bought two skeins of this one and the store I bought it from was called Mama Walling. So if you're in New Zealand or she may ship overseas, I'm not sure. It's a four ply fingering weight. I'm slowly learning more about different types of yarns and things. I really like watching knitting podcasts while I'm knitting. So I'm kind of learning uh, quite quickly about different things. One thing I didn't realize was how hard it was to unwind a skein and cake it up so you can use it. I sat down and thought it would take about 15 minutes and it took me over an hour. But my sister has a swift and a um, yarn, what do you call the things that like ball it up? She has one of those. So I'm going to take this to her house in the weekend and cake this one up. And then I'm not going to be buying a whole lot of hand dyed yarn, but in the future I might buy my own swift. And this is what I have started making from the screen yarn. So here's my caked up ball that I did by hand that took me so long. And I am trying to re-knit something I've tried before and failed. Uh, I will leave the name of it on the screen here and I will link the video down below. It's a really good beginner project. It's just I had no idea what I was doing last time. And I know a little bit more now. So I have started it. It's supposed to be a one skein project, but if you want it bigger, uh, you can use two skeins. So I'm just going to wait and see how it goes. So it's like a shawl scarf. I really love the green. This is how the hand dyed yarn knits up. I just love all the variation in color. And oh my goodness, sometimes when you think of wool, you think scratchy, horrible. This is so soft and squishy. It feels so nice against my skin. So yeah, that's what I'm knitting and I'm knitting it on some of my new circular needles. I just love that the needle and the yarn is green. Some, there is something so satisfying about that to me. Um, so yeah, I will show you the progress on this. Since the yarn is so expensive, I have been taking my time and if I make a mistake, I'm going back and correcting it because I really want to be able to wear this. And yeah, it's a bit of an investment, so I want to make sure I do a good job. So yeah, that's what I got for my birthday. And then I also just bought from Daiso. I buy quite a few things from Daiso and sometimes I get questions about what it is. And it's like a dollar store, but uh, from Japan. So they have, uh, three for ten dollars on almost everything and then some things are a little bit more uh, like this so this is actually one of those things that you can put in your handbag so you can put all your things in and then if you switch from handbag to handbag you can use this but I bought two of these to use as project bags I have my little drawstring bags as well but I like this because I can take it to the park and things and just lay it down and not have to worry about it getting so dirty uh, it's got little pockets inside, so if you're in New Zealand or you're near a Daiso and you're looking for a project bag, I think this is really cool. So yeah, that is everything I got for my birthday. My mum did actually buy me a pair of boots as well, so next time I'm downstairs I'll show you those. I don't want to go down there now and make eye contact with the boys since they're playing so well. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely keep you updated on my knitting projects and hopefully it will turn out, but yeah. Uh, as I said, I'm going to vlog today, so I will show you what I'm getting up to. So like I said, it's Friday today, so that means pizza night. So I do need to uh, make the pizza dough. I've shown that a million times. If you're interested in the recipe I use, I will leave it linked in the description box. I'm also going to make the pizza sauce. And then I also want to prep tomorrow night's dinner. So this weekend, I'm going to my sister's for a bit of a sewing weekend on Saturday and Sunday afternoon. We're going to try and make some pants. I have never sewn pants before. And if you saw my uh, weekly vlog where I made a dress, uh, that was stressful. So I'm not sure how this is going to go, but in my next vlog, I'll show you the results, good or bad. And I'll show you the material that I'm going to use for those. Uh, but yeah, anyway, all that to say, I want to prep tomorrow night's dinner. We're going to have butter chicken pies, which I think are going to be so good. I will show you the recipe uh, and I will link it down below. I think it's going to be really good. I think the boys are going to like it. And then I just have a couple of other things on my to-do list, which a few of them I've done, but I'll show you what I have on my list and yeah, tick off the things that I have done. So the first thing on the list is pizza sauce and pizza dough and prep the butter chicken for tomorrow night. That's what I'm going to work on now. I'll wash the fabric for the pants that I'm going to sew and I have that in the dryer. So this is the fabric I'm using. It's showing up lighter on camera than it actually is. It's actually quite a deep 
uh, navy blue cotton. Well, that looks really light. It's not how it looks at all in real life. But I've washed this and dried it. I just need to iron it and it'll be ready for tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. Then I have put the blankets on the boys' bed. So if you watched my decluttering sentimental items video, you would have seen that I wanted to wash the boys' baby blankets so they could use them on their bed. So I've washed Lachlan's and Tobias's. I've actually just put on the couch over there because in the morning he likes to come up and snuggle on the couch with a blanket. So I thought his baby blanket might be a good thing to have on the couch. So that's there. I also, while I was washing woolens, I also did Tobias's hats. So those are all clean. Uh, then what else do I have on here? Empty both the vacuum cleaners. It's just something I've noticed that needs to be done. Then I wanted to print some things out because we don't have a printer plugged in all the time. So I decided to do a few things at once. So that's what I did. So first of all, uh, this is the butter chicken pie recipe I'm going to be using. It's from, I didn't print the heading because it had a huge picture. Uh, well, it doesn't have a name anywhere, but it's Simple Home Edit and it's her butter chicken pie recipe. That's her, she's Australian. Um, I don't know a lot about her, but I've tried some of her other recipes and I really love them. So I think the boys are going to like that. So I printed it out to put in my recipe folder. I don't usually do that until I've tried out the recipe, but I know that this is going to be good. So uh, I'm going to put that in there. And then I just have uh, the next knitting pattern I would like to make. So this is just a free pattern from Pearl Soho, the elementary wrap. I am not making it in the linen quill. I don't actually have the yarn for it yet. I just wanted to print out the pattern um, since I had the printer out. And then in my last video, I mentioned that I need to get back onto the fly lady method. It's just the best for me. I'm going to talk about why and how <laughs> I am going to do that. But I've had these fly lady printables since I first started the fly lady method. And I just printed them out again. I will leave the Etsy shop linked in the description box if you want some printables. You definitely don't need these. You could just write out a list, but I find it quite helpful to have a format that's all laid out. So I'll probably show you this in my next vlog because in the middle of the school holidays is not a good time for me to start this. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably show that in my next vlog. Then it's not on the list, but I have this basket of laundry to put away. But for right now, it's almost lunchtime, so the boys are going to be hungry soon. And I would like to start uh, the dinner prep. So I'm going to start off by making the pizza dough. Then I'm going to make the pizza sauce. Then I'm going to make the butter chicken. And whenever the boys come up, I will make lunch in between. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shit up When it clicked on the trot over In the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided Dandelions and chewed It was a mutual arrangement we Okay, so that's what done. it took me about an hour but that did include uh, cleaning up the kitchen and everything as well so I think that's pretty good. I used a lot of dishes so I'm going to run the dishwasher again. But I got my pizza dough made. I should probably split this into two containers because I made a double batch. Uh, we've been having leftover pizza for lunch on Saturday so that'll be something really easy for Mike to heat up for the boys tomorrow. So yeah I made a double batch of pizza dough then here is the butter chicken. I think this will last two nights because we're having it uh, in the little pies. So that'll be great. I didn't prep the rice. I'll just do that tomorrow because that won't take very long, but at least the hardest bit is done. And I followed the recipe exactly, except I added probably, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a cup of diced carrot and zucchini to the mix just for some extra vegetables. And then here I have the pizza sauce. Now I just need to empty the vacuum cleaners and my little list will be done. But I actually still need to iron my fabric for tomorrow and put away the washing. And then I'll see what I get up to next. I have often wondered if she'll go and jump the fence. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in? My arm in December, we were running for the 
Okay, so it's Monday today. I'm actually editing this video and I thought I would just show you how my pants turned out because I kind of extended the vlog um, to show a bit of the weekend. I had a really good time uh, making these with my sister and my mum. We all made a pair of pants and again, they're not the colour that it's showing up. They're a much darker blue, but they turned out really well. Uh, even the pockets turned out well. So I think I'll try and make another pair because um, they were quite easy to make but I don't love this fabric. I kind of got a cheap fabric just to try out the pattern, but I do like them. So I think I'll make another pair in maybe a softer fabric or even a linen, I'm not sure, but they turned out really well for my first ever pair of pants. It's hard to tell <laughs> what they look like, but we're about to leave the house. So I don't really want to try them on, but they have uh, pleats and everything. I'm sure I'll show them on in another video. And my sister has a whole collection of little uh, tags you can sew in. so. I sewed in this nailed it one so that turned out really well and my sister and my nieces and my brother-in-law also bought me a birthday present and it's this uh what do they call it um a hot hemmer so this is going to be really helpful especially if you've watched me struggle through um doing things when I sew here at home so this helps you measure the hem and you can just iron right over it so i'm very thankful for that and i will definitely use it a lot i have my dress pieces cut out so i need to start doing that for my um blue dress i also just wanted to say thank you to melissa in this vlog for your postcard thank you very much um i had no idea there was a paris in ontario and it really does look like paris too so um, we were super excited to get that one and um, I really hope you get to take your trip to Australia soon. Uh, I went there a couple of times as a kid because it's very close to New Zealand. Um, I would love to take the boys there. I think they would really enjoy it. So I hope you get to take your trip soon. And thank you so much for telling me a little bit about your life and where you live. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog now because I'm going to put this clip in and upload it. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.